Hey, and welcome back to our bee yard here at Stony Creek Farm. It's mid-August, and that means it's time to count mites. So we're going to show you the process we use. We use a sugar roll. We don't use an alcohol wash or an ether roll. We like the no-kill method of the sugar roll. We're going to show you our kit. We're going to show you the process we use. We're going to count some mites, and uh, we're going to give you an idea what you can do with those numbers and how that will uh, work into your treatment options. Okay, so here's the kit. It fits really nice in this Rubbermaid tub, keeps it dry when it's in the back of the truck. In the kit, we have a wide mouth, one quart mason jar. It's got uh, a number eight screen in the lid. We've got our sugar. We use Domino sugar. Some of the, uh, the lesser brands have cornstarch in them and uh, it's worth uh, a little bit more money to get the good stuff. Cornstarch isn't that great for your bees. We have a paper plate that we'll shake our, uh, our mites onto so we get a nice count and a water spritzer so we'll spray it down and that sugar will dissolve and it'll reveal the mites so you can get a good accurate count. Uh, a pen so you can record your numbers and a half cup uh, measuring scoop here. And uh, you'll see it fits nice in the corner of this Rubbermaid jar and that's real important and you'll see that as we get going here, uh, why that's important. Half a cup is a 300B sample and that's what we use to do all our calculations. So, all right, let's show you the process here. Okay, we wanna start by uh, loading our jar up with a couple of tea tablespoons or hive tools, powdered sugar. One, two, not critical, about that much. Now we're gonna to wanna to pull a frame of bees and shake them into our container here. You're gonna to wanna to pull a frame right from the center of your brood nest. You're gonna want it to contain open brood and capped brood, have lots of nurse bees on it. What you don't want on it is the queen bee. So we're gonna take a moment, give it a good look, make sure she's not here. Okay, she's not that side. And she's not on this side. Okay, so we're gonna wanna shake these right into our container. One good shake. Put that frame back. Take our scoop and you get yourself a good half cup of bees and right in they go. Little shake around, that'll keep them in there. And you put the lid on and we return these to the hive. Okay, now we're gonna wanna set these in the shade. Give them a little toss, get them covered in sugar real nice. And uh, they're gonna heat themselves up. It's gonna help remove the mites, knock them off. Put this in the shade, wait about a minute. A minute's good. While they're waiting there, we can put this back together so we don't have bees flying everywhere. Okay, been about a minute. We've got our bees. We wanna take our spritzer here, get the plate wet so everything sticks to it. Now, we wanna shake them firmly, not too firmly. You don't have to shake the stingers right off them. But consistent, okay? A little more spritz and you can see it sort of melt away and you can see that the mites are coming into view. We'll shake some more. A little breezy, but the might seem to fall through and the sugar blows away a little bit. That's okay. Now bees are pretty durable. It looks like we're shaking the heck out of them, but you'll see when we release them, it really hasn't done anything to them at all. And we're getting some mite drop here. Okay, so we've got our mites. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Okay, 12 mites, what to do with it. Okay, we got 12 mites in our count. We'll tell you what to do with that in just a minute, but let's return these bees to their uh, hive here. And you can see they're none the worse for wear. They'll get in there and their sisters will clean them right up and they'll be as good as new here in just a few minutes. What we like to do is give them a little smoke and a little tickle Drive them down in here. This is the Randy Oliver trick. And that way we don't have to smash them when we put the inner cover back on. They've been so good to us up until now. So that looks good. Okay. Okay, so let's talk about numbers. We're in upstate New York and uh, the numbers mean different things at different times of the year. So April or May, if you have two or three mites in your count, you're going to want to treat with an IPM method of some sort. Should be just fine. A drone trap probably work really well for you. 
Um, June or July, if you have 10 mites, that's your economic threshold and you're going to want to treat or your mites are going to be out of control by September. You're a little bit limited when the supers are on, so I recommend a formic acid product such as Mite Away Quick Strips. You can apply that while your honey is on and it's still organic. And here we are in mid-August and we've got greater than 12 mites. If, if you ever have more than 12 mites in your sample, you're going to want to treat them. And uh, I do recommend the Mighty Way Quick Strips. It's a good product. And uh, that's what we're going to do. We're going to come back and uh, we're going to put our strips on every one of these that need it. And um, so thanks for joining us here and uh, good luck with your sugar roll. And uh, no matter how you decide to treat, you should have a baseline uh, as far as your mite count so you can make a good informed decision. So thanks for joining us today and good luck.